I was just wrestling with um, a lot of shame and condemnation. I feel like I had made a lot of decisions. I kind of disappointed myself with choices that I made, you know, drinking and started doing drugs, started hanging out with people I probably shouldn't have been hanging around with. And, you know, you feel like something's missing. You feel like you're, you're living every day in a little repeat cycle. Kind of felt numb in a sense. I felt numb. I felt um, like purposeless. I, I just felt like, you know, what what's next is anything even next or is this just it there was a lot of moments where i was lay in bed and you know it was just like i think about my kids now and i think about those times and i'm like wow like my kids graduated now and i missed moments conversations because i was so like i don't i don't know it was just like in my that little space that I just couldn't climb out of. I felt deserving of what I was going through because of everything that I had done, and I just felt empty. So in 2019, I stumbled upon Pastor Furtick. I want to say I was like at a my probably my lowest state. I didn't even want to live anymore at that point. That day, I was literally on my table with my phone, and it was just scrolling. And um, I just like on the feed there was. Stephen Furtick, right? And he's preaching about confused about your calling. What if what God has called you to first and foremost is himself? The only thing that God has ever wanted from you was all of you. The only thing that God has ever asked of you is here I am. It's what Jeremiah said. It's what Moses said. It's what Isaiah said. It's what Samuel said. He was talking about, you know, we always run back to the familiar things whenever um, Samuel heard God's voice, he would run back to, to the priest. And I would do that because I'm going through all these things and I'm like running back to old things that I know are not, you know, they're not the answer. I don't know what it was, but it was just like a little mini switch that kind of just like came on and it was like, you know what? Here I am, God, I surrender. In my darkest moment, he loved me just as much as he loves me now. And he'll never love me more. He'll never love me less. He's never gonna change his mind about me. You know, what he did was paid on the cross once and for all, and it's real. And don't let people tell you that you're too far gone or that God can't love you or, you know, God can never use you again because those are the lies of the enemy. The truth is he loves us. It doesn't mean like, okay, your problem's going to stop. But the freedom to walk through it knowing that God is with you, wow, it's so liberating. I kind of was feeling like I needed to be baptized. All of these dark seasons, everything that I've been through, it's going down, you know, it's, it's getting buried and I'm being raised back up to life. I, I don't know what's next, but I know the one who holds what's next. I know that it's just, it's not the end, it's the beginning. And um, I'm just excited. so excited for you because first of all sharing that story it's not just helping you it's helping people in this room all over the world and then being a part of your story today you taking a step of faith forward and getting baptized this is your family in this room and this is your family joining from all over the world and we're excited for you and excited to see what you step into as you continue to follow Jesus